Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play of the Reapers Do Crusader Kings 2, Electric Boogaloo, The Revengening. Anyways, I'm nostalgic. So, <clears throat> something I also forgot to kind of call out during my last episode was there has been, um, there have been a few complaints about the location of my webcam when I do do, do do, <laughs> face cam. I had been putting it in the lower right hand corner. However, the problem with that is that it does cover up some of the UI. So now I'm, go I'm going to try putting it where I've got it right now. And when I thought about, you know, well, hey, what's this going to cover? The only thing I could think about it covering would be the, the crusade flag that pops down. And I guess it would also cover the epidemic thing. I don't know. We'll see. So our king recently granted us the county of... Rouerge. If somebody knows how to say that, please just like let me know. Honestly, please. Really, all we were looking for was a title. We just wanted the title, uh, Duke of Toulouse. But uh, we'll take one. I guess that's okay. I guess that's okay. And we're buttering him up. We're gonna try to improve his opinion of us. So that maybe he will just give us that title. Maybe he'll just say, hey, uh, you should be a duke. Because we should be a duke. The lords of East Francia, that's us, have approved the institution of the ruler, title, revocation, sovereign. Oh my god, what a mouthful. Ruler, title, revocation, sovereignty, law. Can we, like, read up on this? I want to study this law. What is this? Crown law, is, I mean, is that what it was? Rulers allowed to legally seize hereditary titles from traitors and unlawful subjects. Okay, sure. Sure. Yeah, it's, that's okay. I understand that. Well, I mean, that's us. That's not him. There. That's what we want to look at. I thought whatever 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 it just sounds like he can revoke titles so there is a holy war going on right now for Gascon we'll see how that pans out I don't really want to get too involved in that but it scares me because we have border counties Rosello it's almost time for us to spend some more money ooh yes Yes, Castletown, indeed. So we should... We're actually making less money than we were making before we got the county. And the reason for that is inefficient uh, governance. As you can see, we are over our domain limit. Which, the, 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 the bad part about going over your domain limit is that it actually it imposes a penalty on your tax and your levies. I don't typically mind going one over. However going more than one over is terrible it's not a good idea so I really wish you'd give me this title I want this title I want this title give me this title anyways maybe someday he'll give it to us if we're a good boy maybe Santa Claus will bring it for Christmas wow we're losing this war like handily I really don't want um I really, really do not want the Umayyads to get into France. That would be terrible. Terrible. Because that would like... We'd be like the next target. Hey! There we go. He wants to appoint us... Advisor? He wants to make us his advisor. Well, sir, let me think. Hmm. I accept. My daughter had um, a child. Fortunately, she's a bastard. Count Gautier of Schwiz, named Brunhild. Who is your lover? Who is your lover? Who is your turbo lover? Oh my gosh, she's, she's one-handed. Anyways. What's this? Request council support has been received from Eudes Looping. Um, he wants, 
He wants uh, to... Uh, I decline. No, thank you. We need to set our stance on the council. So right now we're a glory. No, it's not us. Uh, right now we're a zealot. Yeah, we're going to change. We're actually... We're a loyalist. We're a loyalist to this king. I mean, we're, we're in the fam. You know... He trusts us fairly obviously, and yeah, I, I'm going to be a loyalist to Tetbert. I'm pretty much going to go with whatever he says. A son was born to Hoster Autologs and Princess Berthagund of Austrasia named Hoster. The Hoster line continues. Unfortunately, he is not strong. That is bad. Oh no, don't be depressed, man. Don't be depressed. You have a baby. You have a baby. King Tetbert of East Francia has made the kingdom of Burgundy. His primary title... What? We are now Burgundy. We're Burgundian. <laughs> Funny. I've decided to institute the Ruler Imprisonment Sovereignty Law. All that is needed is the support of yourself and my other loyal vassals. So, Ruler Imprisonment Sovereignty Law. We're a loyalist. We approve. This, this kind of role-playing could get us in a bad situation, but it's going to be fun. The Lords of Burgundy have approved the institution of the Ruler Imprisonment Sovereignty Law. Okay. He will never imprison us, right? He, li he likes us pretty well. A son was born to Bertrada Adelard, so that's my daughter. Man, I'm having all sorts of grandkids. And he's also a bastard. That's because I didn't marry my daughters to anybody. My daughters, I guess they have needs. They have needs. And they're trying to fulfill their needs. Wow, that is a doom stack that we just got crushed by. You're going to lose this war, and they're going to take... They're going to take Gascon. It's the second Holy War for Gascon. Well, this one... A united France could have stood up to it. But a divided one cannot. You died of severe stress. Yeah, I'm a little stressed too right now by the uh, Umayyad invasion. So we need a court chaplain. Uh, yeah, Sigoin. You would be more than well suited for this. I'll just park you in Rome. Call it a day. We don't have any claims early on anything. Well, we got raided. I didn't even see we got raided. Uh, during the last few days, my daughter, Ustadiola, has not been able to keep any food or drink down. We will pray. Court physician Albert has completely botched the treatment of my daughter, Ustadiola's disease. Ustadiola is now even worse off than before, barely clinging on to life. I'm expected to punish Albert for this transgression, but what would be a suitable punishment? Um, I think he's trying his best. He's trying his best. He's done a lot of good. He's done a lot of good. That's like the first time he's botched something, I think, in a long time. A small kitty. Oh, a kitty. It's demanding your attention. We can pat the kitty. We can pat the kitty. There's 20% chance we become kind. We're not already kind. We're not. Uh, we allow the kitten to follow us home. We get a pet cat. It's intrigued plus one health plus one. Cool. We can kick the kitty. 25% <laughs> chance we gave the trait one-eyed. That is hilarious. We're going to pat the kitty. Pat the kitty. Well, we didn't become kind, but that's okay. Well, that's new. Speaking of kitties. Mine is up on the top, up on the second tier of her abode. Fat rolls just like spilling out over the side of where she's laying. Oh, she died. She disagreed with the meal in the meal one. Ooh, prosperity increases slight, slightly. 
Oh, we're still, we're just Prosperity 1, but whatever. Farrowin of the Burgundian Revolt refused the revocation of County of Provence. Huh. Yeah, we lost that. That sucks. Okay. So, we lost all of this. Fun. Fun, fun. Hey, the king likes us more. So, what's it up to now? 59. Awesome. Bernard died. Bernard died of can cancer? Holy shit. He died of cancer. No, Bernie. You were so good. You were so good. All right. Merrill, mayor of Bez Bezier, is now our new steward. I want you to collect taxes. So what's this? Tyranny of King Tetbert of Burgundy. Huh. I don't think this is going to take very long. Wow. That really kind of scares me. We are definitely bordering the Umayyads. I really... I guess our hope here is that they have some kind of a decadence problem. Badshah Hisham. He has no decadence right now. And 14k levies. That's scary. Really scary. Uh, Commander of Carcassonne. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Woo. Let's make another commander here. Uh, sure. The court physician is now a commander. Uh oh. Troublesome peasants. Oh, speaking of tax money, we need to spend some money. I think we still had like a cheap, yeah, training ground here. Build that. Build it. Build it. Really, really, really hope that they don't decide to grab another piece of France. That could be <coughs> disastrous. What's this? Uh oh. Disastrous. France must stand united. Under pressure from a powerful faction, King Tetbert of Burgundy has agreed to increase the power of the council. Well, okay, I'm on the council. Ooh, we've got a malcontent. The marshal. Huh. Oh, he kicked... No, he didn't kick him off the council. Whoa, what just happened? Did we get kicked off the council? I think we got kicked off the council. Or did the king change? I don't know. My... What? He gave this to somebody else? He gave it to... What is this? Are you friggin' kidding me? Uh... This is really strange. So the Duke of Toulouse is now this guy... Sumar Lidi, who is a Norse pagan. I mean, that's very strange. How is this? How did you even? What is your holding? What holding do you even have? Is that really all you have? He has 3,500 event spawn troops. So Narbonne is now prospering. What? What is this? Title revocation allowed law? He wants to make me chancellor. That's fine. Um, you know, here's the thing. We're on this guy's council. Uh, I really don't necessarily like this guy. Yeah, I think pragmatist is fine. I don't think I'm going to be a malcontent, but... Yeah, we need to get rid of those event spawn troops. That's really all of his troops that he has. Could declare an independence war. We have 2,200. We would just hire mercs and crush him. Pretty much. We'd have to hire quite a few mercs. I mean, he has, what, the, about 4K? So if we hired... Like 
These guys aren't going to get the job done. We'd have to hire pretty expensive Vandenbergs. I think we bought our time just for a little while. Unless he tries to uh, revoke some titles. And then that's going to force our hand. My unwed daughter has been indiscreet. She's been hiding her pregnancy from me and now presents me with her child. Um, we can pay heavily to deal with it. We can take care of both of them. Yeah, I mean, I'll go ahead and become kind. We'll take care of them. It's fine. What's this? Seek treatment for illness. Of course, of course. Convert to local culture, huh? What other plots can we do? Can we kill him? I'd like to kill him. I'd like to plot to kill you, sir. Yeah, that probably would be not too hard. Seek. Yeah, let's go ahead and seek treatment for illness. Uh, as long as you know what you're doing. Oh, so this time we have... A stench seemed to originate from the jar in his hands. A mixture of cow's dung and herbs for your poultice, master. When Albert proceeded to smear it on your chest, you almost retched. I actually feel better. So he basically gave us a Cleveland cow steamer. He wants to make us a commander. That's fine. Uh, daily physical activity making us feel good. Sheepdom of Bairn. Blech. No thanks. That is scary, guys. That is so scary. Yeah, I'm not going to declare war on the Umayyads. Alright, our training ground's done, so that boosts our levies. Uh, another little bit. He's up to 4.19k. See, he's gonna... Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with him. The darkness scares me, and I keep wondering how I'll last through this campaign. I think someone heard me. Um, my soldiers will not respect me. Yeah, we need to, we need to oust this guy for, for realsies here. I wonder... Cannot create or usurp a title of the same or higher rank as our liege. Huh. Can't usurp that, huh? It's very strange. It's very strange. I can't believe he granted it to him. What? That is so... Why would he grant that title to him? I don't understand. I really don't understand one bit. Huh. That's very weird. Does he have any allies? Not really. It's just like he came out of nowhere and just suddenly was like, boom, I'm I'm the shit. I'm here. So if we raised our levies, we'd have, you know, about 2,200. He's got 4K. We could fight into its hills. Ooh. What's his uh, marshal? Not very high. That's good. That's good. That's just good. <clears throat> I mean, I think we just we just continue to make some money so that we can, because we're probably gonna have to spend about three hundred to hire the mercs. Mayor Drogo of Vesul. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, we need to switch our. Yeah, we don't. Since he's not our direct report anymore, we're not gonna butter him up. Let's, um, hmm. what is this? My sister-in-law. What? Huh. Who is your liege? The Duke of Gascon. Huh. Um... Let's fabric let's try to fabricate a Duke level claim. Let's try to take this guy's title from him. We're probably going to have to get the three hundred gold mercenaries, and they're going to cost us about what, fifteen per month? Twenty per month. So if we like say we hired them right now, we could only have them for about ten months, which would likely be enough time because we really just need to crush his event spawn troops. 
And then after we do that, yeah, 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 he's seeking to revoke our county away from us. So, yeah, see, the thing is, that's not going to work. So, the Franks and the county of Mogul have now adopted enough of Latin customs so they no longer be recognized as Germanic. The scholars call them French. Okay. Uh, see, that's not going to work. And if you're going to be trying to do that, then here's what's going to happen. Yeah, I'm now a malcontent. I don't like you, dude. So, so there. I'm a malcontent, and there's not much you can do about it. If he decides that he actually wants to revoke it, that's fine. The ball's going to be in our court, I suppose. We've got a ton of money. We can afford the mercs to crush him. I'm just kind of waiting until we have a little bit more money. He's also gaining money. He's also gaining troops. It's so weird. So he was an adventurer, huh? He's also a family man. So weird. I really don't know if anybody has any insight into how this happened, like what game mechanic enabled this. Feel free to to hit me with it because I really don't know how that happened. So this is bad. The du jour war is we're gonna lose that it looks like, and the tyranny war. Gonna win. Your vassal Baron Vitard of Montpelier is arguing with his wife. She seems quite upset, and they're almost screaming at each other. I don't even notice you're watching them. Of course, I'm gonna intervene. Baron Vitard of Montpelier. Montpellier seemed very grateful for my help and promised to return the favor whenever possible. Glad it worked out for them. Feels accepted. What's this? One character owes me a favor. Oh, so we got a favor for that. Cool. Is he on the council? He's our spy master. Well, that's cool. He also has the flu. I love this. I love these little things. I just, they make the game for me. Really, they do. Speaking of epidemics, what's going on? Smallpox, some camp fever could come our way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Middle East is being ravaged by the smallpox. It is riddled. Whoa, sorry guys. It's riddled with smallpox. She is riddled with herpes. Um, I'm, I'm really tempted to go ahead and declare on this guy. Oh, he spent money. He spent money on something. That's Now's the perfect time to strike. Perfect time to strike. Yeah, he wants to revoke the county of Carcassonne. Well, guess what, Barosif? We're about to uh, we're about to fix your little red wagon. Fix it, fix it good. Do, 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 do. Who who does he have? Um, I guess we might have to resign from council first. Yep, boom. Resigned from council. And now nobody is held. Uh... So if we win the war, um... Huh. It's interesting. If we win the war, we don't become the Duke. We just, he just is not our liege anymore. Which kind of sucks. In your plot. He's like, no, I don't want to end my plot. So it almost seems like this is kind of a point. It would be a kind of a pointless war, but I don't know. I don't really like this guy. Is there anything, any plot we can do here? Embrace the Carolingian Renaissance. In our realm, Latin ways and words are increasingly melding in with our Germanic heritage. Tennessee is seen above all in learned texts and matters of state and religion. Perhaps we should take the step in earnest and promote the scroll change. What's this do? We all become French. Okay. Uh, that'd be cool. That would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and let's just do that there. So he has 4.6k troops. We have 2.2. So he's 2.2 up on us even. This would still give us a numerical advantage. Just hiring the 300 worth. Um, 
lots of heavy infantry too, that's good. They would appear at Carcassonne. This is mountains, that's perfect. Mountains. You probably go into Rouerge, which is fine because we would just take Toulouse if he went there. It's not really as much of an advantage as I would I would like to have in Wharf. I don't really like to have a little bit more numbers. We could hold off until we can get the 450 or 375, but they're already hired out by Chaldea, the Byzantine Empire. 450. Ooh, that costs a lot. To the White Company. Wiston. What's this? Oh, he wants it. No. Sorry, dude. I'm not I'm not gonna be on your council anymore. You have lost my loyalty. You've lost that love and feeling, brother. It ain't happening. One of the reasons I don't necessarily want to go to war right now is because there are two other kingdom level wars going on, and I'm worried if I raise a big blob of troops that Okay, so that one just ended. All right, well, that kind of erases that. Yeah, so that that's not good. That wasn't good. Because I think that took land away from our kingdom. All right. His event spawn troops keep growing is what worries me. It just He keeps on getting more and more event spawn troops. So... I wish we had a claim on that. I really, really do. Yeah, we're no longer going to be a commander for you. Declare war independence. Eh, why not? Our new ambition is to become king of Aquitaine. Boom. Which I don't even know what the border of Aquitaine is. What is it? Oh, okay. So that's Aquitaine. Huh. All right. Well, so we are going to hire Mercs. We're going to hire... They're both the same monthly cost and initial fee. The difference is... There is no difference. So it's really whoever you like better. They both look exactly the same. We'll hire a Bondio. And raise our own levies. We're going to go ahead and slow the game down because this, this is pretty crucial. We need to win this. Um, and we're going to have everybody join up in the mountains. And see what he does. Okay. So far he's only got 99 troops out. Where are his event spawn troops? Uh, where are your event spawn troops? That's very strange. I kind of wonder if that's a glitch. Maybe his event spawn troops are over in, um, <laughs> over in Norseland somewhere. Very strange. Very strange. I didn't even bother setting commanders. It's pretty wild, but what's this? Uh, sure. Will be a commander for me. Um, okay, well, that's kind of strange. So we could assault the holding. Well, dude, where are your troops, man? You have all these troops, and I have not seen neither hide nor hair of them. We just like screamed outside my window. I'm gonna speed the game up. Okay, is that is that some of his troops? Huh? Not really. Raiders of Rodolph. We'll probably wait for the um, the siege to progress a little bit more. I'm gonna speed it up again, and then we will assault at the end. 
to kind of try to make this a little shorter. I just, I'm so kind of weirded out by the fact that his troops aren't around. I really don't understand. I do not understand. Fear has loosened its grip upon me. I can st Ah, so we finally lose Craven like 30 years after we gain that. Well, that's good. That should make our marshal go up, which in turn makes our levies go up. What's this? Okay, so... Did that... Did that one of our commanders died. Okay. Paul, you are now the new commander. Who is this? My granddaughter. Childhood focus going to be... Etiquette. Rodolph the Red Nose Raider. Okay, so we took that. We are losing some money. Uh, you, however, my son, are going to be thrift. My grandson, I guess I should say. You are now, what is this, 965? Yeah, we're losing a lot of money here. What happened to Segoin? Did he die? Died of cancer. Uh-oh. We need a new chaplain. I choose you, Pikachu. Catholic Uprising. Nice. Nice. I think it's going to be... I, to, I'm just so leery of dismissing those troops because I don't know where his doom stack is, you know. No clue. We only need to siege out one more holding, I think. Oh, yeah, we can, we can just assault that down. So that's good. And you... This is kind of interesting. I think I'm actually going to make you go thrift, too. Spy master. What happened to our spy master? Our court physician is now our spy master. That's funny. I'm gonna have you scheme here. Let's just assault this down. There we go. 100% offer peace. Enforce demands. Can we usurp this title? Okay, because he's of another religion, we can't, which is terrible. Oh yeah, there we go, that's what we want. Anybody join up? We got a few people that would. Just auto invite plotters. So we'll be able to do that. We need to get rid of these uh, these mercs. Where's that? Special troops. Put off mercs. You guys did great, but I don't need you. Sure, sure. So now we're no longer under his heel anymore, which is good. So we're going to try to fabricate a claim on this duchy. The, the crazy part is, where did the, where are his event spawn troops? That's so wild. Um, so let's look at it. Right now it's it. So the king supports it, but it's not worth that much plot power. That makes no sense whatsoever. Makes no sense. So we're at 35.8%. If we bribed all these people, so we would have, we'll just say 45, 49, 53, 57, 62, 70. Not even enough to fire this one just yet. So we'll just hang on. No big deal. We need to make some more money anyways. We'll probably have to, we'll probably have to fight him for it, and then we don't know what's going on with those event spawn troops. So, uh, My food has tasted strange lately. I've begun to eat less and less for fear of being poisoned. I don't trust the spy master to find the poisoner. So, yeah, Magnitude, help me. 
All right, I think we're going to put a cut in there. In our next episode, we're going to try to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Toulouse and take it from that guy. The only thing is, with those events von troops being sort of in the lurch, I mean, I don't know that I feel comfortable just assuming they're not going to show up again and just declaring a war. And then, because it's not like we can just say, oh, just kidding. Um, so we would have to basically save up enough money again to hire mercs, which would take a few years. But uh, we'll see. But we definitely want to take that duchy. We want to take it. What's crazy is that the king himself supports our, you know, wanting to make a claim on it. Why didn't he just give it to us in the first place? So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and joining me today. And until next time, game on.